Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Helen Carolina and I am a stay-at-home mom of two. Um, by the title of this video, you guys know what this video is going to be about. I have decided to take some time off YouTube and social media for my mental health. Um, recently, I haven't really been feeling like myself. I haven't had the motivation to pretty much do anything. I don't want to film. I don't want to edit. I don't want to clean. I I don't feel like doing anything. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not 100% sure and I haven't been diagnosed with this, but this feels like depression. And it's so hard to say that Um, it's really hard to admit that. And, um, I haven't been able to say it out loud. But, um, it feels like that. And, of course, I've gone to Google and I've researched symptoms and stuff like that. And it feels like that. It seems like that. And I do need to go to the... To my doctor and you know confirm it um and it's something i am planning to do but i just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know that i, I am taking a break for myself and for my mental health um uh, it is it came out of nowhere it just suddenly happened um i'm not the type of person i mean i you know we don't always want to do things, but this time it's just like, I'm tired. And I honestly feel like I don't want to do anything. If I, I get things done and I clean my house because I don't want my kids living in filth. And I don't want my husband to come to a dirty house after a long day of work. So I keep it together for them, but I think it's time to really focus on myself and really focus on my mental health because it's very important for me, for my kids, and for my husband. I don't think I have like severe depression, but it's affecting my life and I don't want that. It's been going on for a couple weeks now and I was finally able to tell my husband He's been so supportive and he's he's been there for me. And it's really hard because I'm the one that worries in the house. And now he's the one that is worried and I didn't want that. Which is why I didn't tell him like right away when I was having symptoms. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I was very active um, with my workouts. And I was working out every single day and I was posting my workouts. Um, I had like a routine and out of nowhere that just stopped like it, it, I don't know what happened I lost motivation well I did injure my um, my ankle and my ankle has prevented me from like doing a lot of like workout things and like being active um, I do need to go to the clinic and get that checked out as well and then after that my back started hurting so that's another issue like right now my back hurts and my ankle hurts and it's been a mess like my i feel like a mess so again which is why i want to take a break from making youtube videos i'm going to delete all my social medias because i feel like social media impacts my life a lot as well like i've been on social media ever since i can remember Ever since like MySpace, I don't think I ever not been on social media or just like not even active, but like just be on it, like looking at things and being on social media like really impacts me because, um, yeah, you people share like their happy moments, but there's also a lot of bad things and like it's overwhelming in awe. Like I don't, it's just, I just felt overwhelmed with everything. And I feel like I need to take a break from that and I need to take a break from filming because if I'm not like motivated to do it, it's not like 
good for myself and not good for you guys like you guys are gonna see that i don't i feel like not doing it and sadly that's how i feel right now and it's it's unfortunate but i feel like i can overcome this and i will overcome this um i will start meditating i feel like that time i was meditating um it really helped me a lot and i am going to start meditating again I've been going to take walks outside with the kids at the park every single day for at least 30 minutes and I have felt that that has changed me a little bit and it has gotten me in a better state of mind and just made me feel a lot better than being stuck at home. I mean, I've been a stay-at-home mom for three years now and it's like I do the same thing every single day. So I think that is finally taking a toll. So me taking, I do go out for walks, but I don't go every day. So now I'm trying to do this every day and just being out the house, even if it's to the front yard or even if it's like letting the kids play in the pool for the summer or just cleaning my car and things like that. Just, you know, getting some sunlight has helped. Yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop for that. I'm not going to be gone forever, um, but yeah, that's, that's my life right now. Um, I am trying to get myself back in the way. And I know I could do it. I have such a, a good support system and my kids, like they are my motivation. My husband, he's my motivation. And you know, I am, <laughs> it's crazy to say this, but I'm ready to like bring myself back. Like, cause I've noticed like a difference in me and sadly it's so crazy like it's ridiculous not ridiculous but i didn't think it was gonna happen to me again this bad like last time it was easier this time it's for real for real um but yeah i also wanted to get on here and make this quick video just to thank you guys for the 800 subscribers um, I appreciate all the support and I appreciate every single one of you guys and I am so grateful. I know this is going to be like a little step back to my 1,000 subscribers, but I'd rather have a good mental health and put myself and my family first than any social media platform. So, um, yes, I just want to thank you guys and uh, thank you guys for listening to me today. I just didn't want to disappear from one day to another. I didn't post last week because, again, I didn't have it in me to edit a simple video. I couldn't edit a 30-minute video. And that's when I knew things were wrong. And I knew, like, if you can't do that, like, and then they're not cleaning the house. And everything just fell in its place. I've had a lot of symptoms that indicate that I might be depressed. Again, I need to go to the doctor to get like an official um, diagnosed, but it kind of feels like that. And um, I have like a good state of mind right now. I'm finally telling my husband has like took a relief off my shoulders and really helped. So I know he's going to be there for anything and everything. And he every time I mention him or or like talk about him I get teary eyes just because you know I love him so much but um I don't want him to worry and such a sweetheart so I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to cry but yes again I just wanted to make this quick video I know I probably said things over and over again it's just I don't have a clear mind right now but um I will be back in a few weeks. I think I'm trying to come back before my birthday in September. I wanted to do, I wanted to, I wanted to start my break from like August 1st to September 1st, but I think that I'm going to need a lot more time than that. So I am going to work on myself for these few weeks, month and a half, stay away from social media, stay away from anything and just focus on my house, my family and my loved ones. And it's something that I need to do. It's not, not like, oh, I'm just going to do it to see. No, it's I, I, I need to do this for the sake of my mental health. You know, I'm a real believer of mental health issues and 
I'm not going to pretend like something's not happening with me when it is. But, um, yeah, I, I need to do this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for listening to me. And I promise I will be back and I will be much better. And I promise I am going to be working on myself. And I feel like it's time. I feel like I need this. And I will overcome this. And I will be much better. Thank you guys for listening to me. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.